Welcome to a tutorial on how to solve differential equations on the TA-89 graphing calculator. We're going to be solving first order differential equations, though the same method can be used to solve second order differential equations. Let's start a new problem by pressing second F1, number two for new problem, and then enter. And now we'll be solving these differential equations using the DE solve function under the calculus menu. So we'll press F3 for the calculus menu, and the DE solve function is at the very bottom, or if we want, we can press the up arrow instead of down. Notice how it's the very last option, option C. Because we have this highlighted, we can press enter. And now we enter the differential equation, y prime equals 3x squared. So y, the prime is second equal sign. And then we have equals 3x raised to the power of 2, comma, we enter the independent variable, which is x, comma, the dependent variable, which is y, close parenthesis, and enter. Notice here we have an at 1. This stands for the constant, and therefore the general solution is y equals x cubed plus c. Next we have dy dx equals e to the x cosine x. So we could edit this previous entry, Let's go through the process again. We press F3 for the calculus menu. We could scroll way down or just push the up arrow. Select option C by pressing enter. We enter dy dx as y prime. So y second equal sign and then equals e to the x is diamond x. Then we enter the exponent of x close parenthesis cosine x which is second z x close parenthesis comma x comma y close parenthesis and enter. Notice how we have this arrow to the right which means there's more to the solution to the right so if we press the up arrow and then right we have at 2 which means plus c. So we can write the general solution in various forms. Let's write this as y equals 1 half e to the x cosine x plus 1 half e to the x sine x and then of course plus c. Of course, we could also factor out 1 half e to the x, but we'll go ahead and leave it in this form. Looking at the next differential equation, we have dy dx equals xy. It is important for this differential equation that we enter xy as x times y. So again, we'll press F3, up, enter, and then y prime for dy dx, so y second equal sign equals x times y comma x comma y, close parenthesis, and enter. Again, at three is the constant, so our solution is y equals c times e raised to the power of x squared divided by two. Finally, for the last differential equation, let's go ahead and just edit this previous entry. So I'll press the right arrow, then the left arrow till the cursor is to the left of the comma, then use this back arrow or delete key to remove the previous differential equation. Now we'll enter x times dy dx is y prime, so y second equal sign equals x squared, x raised to the power of two plus three y. We already have the comma x comma y close parenthesis, so we press enter and we have our solution. y equals at four is c, so y equals c times x cubed minus x squared. I hope you found this helpful.